Yo, 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 CPA Strength here, back again! Strongest in the game, what am I back again with? In my classic series, we're doing our journal entries. I believe this is the fourth journal entry in our little series here. This is a County for Beginners, number 127 of my classic series. Thanks for being here. Uh, this is the playlist that contains all my accounting for beginners, all of them. <laughs> There's a bunch. It really is a really good. It's the best accounting, best accounting playlist on the net, on the interwebs. And please, if you could comment, like, share, subscribe. That's four actions. I give a cookie for each action, so you can get four cookies in the mail. Two business days, please. Allow for shipping. Now let's see. We got debit. We got DC Aid Lur. This is. If you don't know this and you're doing accounting 101 or something along these lines, you're missing out. Debit, asset, draw expense. If those, if those are going up, if asset, draw, and expense are going up, you will debit it. If asset, draw, expense are decreasing in value, you will credit it. Liability, equity, and revenue. If they're increasing in value, you credit it. Liability, equity, and revenue. If they're decreasing in value, you debit it. Cash is an asset. We just, we just wrote that down because so many of our journal entries have cash in them. I would, I would uh, as you make a journal entry, as you learn what more things are, like we've, we've done uh, prepaids in our last couple examples. We've done some, you know, we've done, we've done prepaids, we've done, um, so you would know that, you know, prepaid's an asset if you come along with what, oh, we did, you know, what capital was. When you come across things, different categories, you write, you write it down next to it so then you can remember it. Um, this is where we're going to do our journal entry. Under, you know, we got debit, we got credit, this is to remind us that they're going to equal. Uh, we just said we had cash leaving. Man, this is like our fourth journal entry with cash in a row. We're killing the game. So we're going to have, what do we say? And we're excited because we finally received cash. We thought we've had outlays for cash this whole all these journal entries, we're finally getting some chipper, we're finally getting our chippers up. Finally getting these chippers up, dog. Huh? So we're receiving cash. We know cash is an asset. And let's go up to here in our DCA alert under asset. Okay, we, we see here, if it's increasing, it's gonna be a debit. If we receive, if we receive money, is, it in, is our money increase? If we started with nothing, and now we have $3,000, is our cash increasing or is our cash account decreasing? It's increasing, we have $3,000 more now. So we know cash is an asset. If an asset is increasing in value, we debit it. So we're gonna say $3,000 cash. Now this is, this, is, this is a tricky one here and I'm just gonna let you know now so I don't forget. This is gonna be a liability. We did this for service revenue and it's a liability. Now, under, it's gonna be unearned revenue, because we didn't earn it yet, because we're, we're, we're doing the work later. So they, they prepaid us, but we don't have it as an asset because it's not, a, it's not a benefit for us later. We've already got the benefit, the money. That's why it's not a prepaid, or, or it's an unearned, because we got the money. On the prepaids, we spent money, and then we have the, we have the asset to use. Unearned revenue is a different beast, that is like we are we already got the money didn't perform the work yet so we owe them the we owe them the work so that's a liability in the books so under revenue is liability now under revenue i think is the only liability that doesn't have payable next to it all the really liabilities are like uh, accounts payable notes payable wages payable are usually liabilities but under revenue is a little different of a beast anyways let's get to this april 6th Receive cash from clients. Yeah, we've got that down. That's why we got the three thousand dollars because we received cash from clients as an advance payment for services. They paid us because we're going to do services later. Now, probably in their books, they probably have it as prepaid, but we're doing the reverse now. Let's see. In the other in the other two ones, we paid we paid money and and we're going to use services later. We're going to get the services later. On this one. We got money and we're gonna do the services later for the, for the other person. So anyways, we didn't earn it yet. A service, so that would, just be, that would be service revenue because the, we're, the, we're, we're gonna perform a ser our service form, whatever it might be, uh, preparing taxes, uh, bookkeeping, uh, gardening, landscaping, whatever your business is, that's what we did. 
that's what we perform for the service. So it's going to be service. So it's going to be service revenue. But we didn't do it yet. We're going to do it later for them. So we're liable to them for later. And it's not service revenue. It's unearned revenue because we didn't we didn't earn it yet. Think about it. you got with the revenue. You got to sit back and think: Did I earn it? Is it earned or is it unearned? If it's unearned, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a it's going to be a liability because you're liable for that later. So you're just gonna know, you're gonna know after doing these for a long time, after doing journal entry after journal entry, you're gonna know unearned revenue is a liability. So that's that's what it's gonna be. Okay, if you have a if you have a liability increase in value, we didn't have anything in our unearned revenue category before. Now in our unearned revenue account, we have three thousand dollars. So did it go up or did it go down? It went up. It went from zero to three thousand. Uh, we know our unearned revenue is a liability. If a liability is increasing in value, like in our case, we credit it. So we're going to credit three thousand dollars unearned revenue. So yeah, that's our journal entry. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, this is CPA Strain. I hope you learned something. I hope you had some fun. Anyways, this is CPA Strength. Until next one, I'm out. Deuces.